Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I'm going to analyze Thiago Alcantara. So to start off, I wanted to talk about his positional awareness. Basically, he can play at every midfield position. He played once only as an attacking midfielder, 25 times as a central midfielder and 10 times as a defensive midfielder. Just wanted to say that all the stats that will be shown in this video are from the Bundesliga this season only, so the stats are not from all competitions. He always keeps looking around, scanning the pitch in order to make the decision easier once he receives the ball. As you can see here, he moves into the space to provide the passing option, then while waiting for the pass he checks the positions of his teammates. This not only helps him with the passes, but it allows him to deal with the pressure. As you can see here, the opposition is pressing him, so he uses his first touch with this kind of body fin to get rid of the pressure. Again, the opposition is pressing him, but he gets rid of it with his first touch. So he is always responsible to drop between the defenders during the build-up. You can notice that he always goes for any forward passes and avoid playing negative football, even when building up. He goes for a lot of these passes between the lines. Whenever he cannot do so, he goes for the long pass and gets the opposition's lines out of the play. His main aim is to speed up the attack. When the opposition is using a zonal defensive system and playing compact defense, he will always go for these switches. He completed a total of 89 switches this season, but 7 crosses only, so you can see that he doesn't push forward a lot. When he moves a little bit forward with the ball, these switches are obviously more effective. It really helps Bayern play style as they hold the ball in one side, then suddenly switch it to the other direction. Thiago uses a variety of passing styles to try and break the opposition's defensive organization. Playing alongside Kimmich allows him to move forward with the ball. He has an average of 1.7 key passes per game. He is very good at finding spaces. Whenever he gets an opportunity to move forward with the ball and help progress the attack, he keeps the ball with him, moves to that space and then pass it. His ball control helps him a lot with that. Talking about his ball control, he completed a total of 59 dribbles this season with an 84% success rate. He also managed to complete a total of 334 passes under pressure. His defensive contribution is one of his biggest strengths. His perfect reading of the game comes to play in this as well. He expects passes to be able to apply early pressure and intercept the ball. He is also very good when it comes to these 1v1 situations in the midfield. Something else that I noticed is that how he gets most of his interceptions by applying pressure from behind the opposition. Now let's check some defensive stats. 
Out of the 61 tackles that he attempted this season, he won 45. He got a total of 101 presses and the team got the ball back 35% of the time after his pressure. He intercepted the ball 46 times and cleared it away 19 times. He usually stays back during the attacks and provides support from this deep position with these through passes. You will also see him position there during the corners. It helps his side defensively as well as offensively as he usually wins the second balls. Although he doesn't get forward a lot, when he does so, he helps his team with his off the ball movement as he always provides passing options after passing the ball. You can really see this captain personality in him as he is always guiding his teammates and pointing out the passing options to help his side progress the attacks and move the ball around. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed this analysis. Which player do you want me to analyze next? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.